Would you consider Nick to be kind of a handyman? Sí. Yes. Uh, why do you say that? Porque él siempre está arreglando cosas en su casa o cuando va a la casa de alguien. Because si te ayuda. Because él, está ahí para ayudar. He's always there helping things in his house or he goes to other houses to help fix things. Have you ever seen him use tools to fix things? Sí. Yes. Have you ever seen him uh, with a pocket knife? Sí. Yes. Have you ever seen him use the pocket knife as a tool to fix things? Sí. Yes. Can you tell me about some of those things that you've seen him do with the pocket knife to fix things? Lo he visto arreglar cosas en su casa o en mi casa cuando compré mi piscina. Él fue uno de los compañeros que que me ayudó. I've seen him fix things in his house. Para cortar cosas. And me, my house. When I bought my pool, he helped me. Uh, fix the, the pool and <clears throat> in general fixing things. Wanna ask, and, he, and he used the knife, sorry. Want to ask you some questions about uh, the trip down the river on July 30th of 2022, okay? Sí. Yes. Is that a trip you and your wife have made before? Sí. Yes. Prior to leaving your house that day, did you have a call? Did you call Nick Mew that day and ask him to bring anything? Sí. Yes. Um, what did you ask Nick to bring? Que, que llevara su navaja. To bring his knife. Why did you ask Nick to bring? And when you say his, just start over. His knife, is that a pocket knife? Or some other knife? No, la de pocket. No, the pocket. And why did you ask Nick to bring his pocket knife? Porque la vez anterior que fuimos al río, a la hora de de salir, no podíamos, no teníamos con qué cortar las hojas y tuvimos que arrastrar todas las balsas juntas. Because the last time we went went to the river, we had all the inner tubes tied together, and we couldn't cut the cords, so we had to pull them out of the river all together and and bring them up to the place where we had to leave them. So you wanted him to have the knife to help cut the cords at the end of the trip. Y al principio también cuando amarramos todos los la, las balsas. And at the beginning too, it's uh, useful to tie them up. Why didn't you just bring your own pocket knife? Yo no tengo. I don't have one. And if who's the guy that tends to have a pocket knife in your group of friends? Nick. Nick. Is he the handyman amongst your group of friends? Sí. Yes. Is he, you said he had that pocket knife with him sometimes when he's come over to your house, right? Sí. Yes. That day when you called him and asked him to bring the knife, were you worried about Nick Mew having a knife? No, no, no razón ninguna. No, there is no reason for that. You've known him for a long time. Sí. Yes. Seen him in your home, seen him in his home. Sí. Yes. Seen him at work, work with him. Sí. Yes. Fair to say you've had opportunities to observe his character. Would you agree with that? Sí. Yes. Would you agree Nick Mew has a character for peacefulness? 
Say yes. Were you worried at all about Nick Mew bringing a knife based upon what you knew about Nick? Jack Dunn. Overruled. You can answer the question. Repeat the question. Repeat the question, please. Were you worried at all about Nick Mew having a knife out on the river? No. No. Did you see Nick with uh, some goggles and a snorkel? Say sí. yes. Did you see him use the goggles and snorkel prior to Ariel losing his phone? Say sí. yes. Um, would he use the snorkel to swim in the river? Say sí. yes. When he used the snorkel to swim in the river, do you remember? Was he wearing his hat? No. No. Was he, when he had on his goggles and snorkel, was he wearing sunglasses? Repeat the question. Can you repeat the question? When he went swimming in the river using the goggles and snorkel, did he also wear his sunglasses? No. No. Was there a time when you were on the river that you saw or that uh, you came to learn Ariel had lost his phone? Say, sí. yes. When he lost his phone, did you guys stop and have a discussion? Uh, no, really. En sí no paramos. Estuvimos conversando y él dijo que iba a buscar el teléfono. We didn't Yo le dije read. que se olvidara el teléfono, que se subiera a la balsa, y él dijo, no, I got to find it. O sea, que lo voy a encontrar. No, we didn't, talk. We, we didn't stop. We continued. Then we, he said, I'm going to look for the phone. The And I said, no, don't go. And then he said, I'm going to go look for it. For it. The he you're referring to is Nick Mew? Correct. Did you eventually Correct. Did you eventually see Nick go look for the phone with his goggles and snorkel? Sí. Yes. Did you see him go in the same direction that the water was flowing? Sí. Yes. Would you, can we call that downriver? Sí. Yes. You know why he went down river to look for the phone? Bueno, pienso que él se fue río abajo porque la, el, el teléfono estaba como una bolsa de eso que se usan para proteger el agua. I think that he went down the river because the telephone was inside a pouch, those bags that you use to put them in the water. Why were you telling that person, stay there, stay there, stay there? Porque la persona que estaba apuntando hacia mí, o sea, a mí, no sé si era hacia mí o sea él, estaba yelling and he tried to walk. Because the person hacia, hacia pointing. Hacia mí. Because there was a person there pointing. I don't know if she was, they were pointing at me or at Nick, but they were approaching. Did you think it was safe for that person to come towards you and Nick? Bueno, yo lo que traté de tratar de que esa persona no se acercara a nosotros porque quizás el problema iba a seguir si, si venían hacia, hacia el grupo nuestro. I tried to prevent that person from approaching us because I thought maybe the problem will, was going to continue. And you thought the solution to that problem was to keep Nick separated from the group that was pointing at you. Sí. Yes. When Nick, I'm going to now ask you about when Nick's back at the tubes with you after you pointed at this person, okay?
Make sense? Sí. In that time, what did Nick look like? He se lucía muy preocupado y estaba como blanco. He looked worried and he was pale. You saw Nick among the group of people when you were walking up, right? Correcto. Correct. You could see how the group was acting, you could hear them, right? Sí, estaban gritando toda toda la gente. Jelen, Jelen people. Yes, they were yell yelling. And mm. when police talked to you about it, you didn't believe Nick stabbed anyone, right? Nunca. Never. And you said, he's a big guy, he was in the army, he doesn't need a knife to defend himself, right? Sí. Yes. And he was he was in the army in Romania before coming to the U.S., right? Uh, I'm not sure. O sea, no estoy seguro, pero si dije eso porque en los países comunistas el servicio militar es mandatorio. So, él vive en un país comunista, yo vivo en un país comunista, al servicio nos mandan obligado. I'm not sure if I said that, but I know that he comes from a communist country and the military service is mandatory. I come from a communist country too, where you have the mandatory uh, military service. And you answered questions about Nick had his knife because he used it to cut ropes he was going to use it at the beginning and going to use it at the end. Do you remember that? Correcto. Correct. But you told police that you thought Nikolai put his ba knife back in the vehicle before floating down the river, right? Correcto. Correct. And you also told police you never saw Nikolai with a knife on the river, right? No. Bueno, cuando hablamos del río, solamente lo vi con la navaja al principio cuando se amarraron todos los tubos. No, well, when we were in the river, I only saw him with the knife at the beginning when we were tying the tubes. When... When Nikolai got back to the tubes after he walked past you, did you walk back to the tubes? <clears throat> Nikolai walked past you, going back to the tubes, right? See? Yes. And he didn't say anything to you then? I don't remember because I pay attention to the guy punch us and I say stay there, stay there. I don't want it coming to us. 